I knew that Anna wrote a diary. She spoke about her diary. She left her diary with me at night in a briefcase next to my bed. I had promised her never to look in. I never did. When I returned and after I had the news that my children would not come back, me gave me the diary which had been saved by, I should say, a murder. It took me a very long time to read it. And I must say, I was very much surprised about deep thoughts on ahead. Her seriousness, especially her self-criticism. It was quite a different honor I had known as my daughter. She never really showed this kind of inner feeling. She talked about many things, we criticized many things, but what really their feelings were, I only could see from the diary. And my conclusion is, as I had been in very, very good terms with Anna, that most parents don't know really their children. And so I know, too, that in reading the diary, parents and teachers will learn a lot. To build up a future, you have to know the past. You see, I'm pretty old now, but I am not a bitter man. Young people write to me, asking questions. Many are writing a diary themselves, calling their diary, Anna's diary. They write to Anna as Anna wrote to Kitty. And so, especially in the time of adolescence, they get a lot of confidence and hope for their lives in reading about Anna and her experiences.